boys and girls of Faith Place. Welcome to another week of Faith Place at Home. It's time to introduce your next memory verse of the week. Now, I don't know if you've ever wondered about this or thought about this, but you know, when we look at our Bibles, they're pretty big. There's a lot in there. There are a lot of verses that we can memorize. God has so much that he has said to us, um, that he wants us to know about him, about each other, about how to live life. And I don't know, have you ever stopped and thought, gosh, Lord, where do I start? Is there one verse in there that is more important for me to memorize than another? We know all of it is perfect. All of it is God's word. But where do we start? Well, that is a very good question. In fact, it's such a good question that thousands of years ago, when Jesus walked on earth, there was a man who came to him and he was something called a scribe. In one of the books of the Bible, it actually calls him a lawyer. So what that tells us is he knew a lot about the Bible. He was kind of his job to know the Old Testament at the time, because we didn't have the New Testament yet, but that was his job. When people had questions about what the Bible said, they went to him. Well, this man is going to Jesus, and some people had been kind of questioning Jesus and asking him really tricky questions and trying to trap him, and Jesus always knew what to say and always knew how to answer, and this scribe saw that. So he goes to Jesus with a question of his own. And his question is, what is the greatest commandment? What is the first one? Out of all these commandments that I know, we all kind of know the list of the Ten Commandments. Which one is number one? Was he going to trap? Jesus? Was Jesus going to be confused because all of it is good and all of it is God's word? Well, of course not. Jesus knew exactly what to say to him. Listen to what Jesus said out of the book of Mark in chapter 12, in verse number 29. Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, The Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. So there you have it. And that's going to be our memory verse for this week. Because Jesus said, you know where you start? You start by loving the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Four parts of you that God put in you and made you who you are all need to love God. So he wants you to love him with your heart. Your heart is where you feel things. Your heart is where you get happy and you feel happy. Or maybe you feel sad. Your emotions are there. Your feelings are there. And God says, I want those. Love me with all of those emotions. Those belong to God. He wants you to feel happiest when you think about God and when you talk to him and when you walk with him. Even if you're sad, he wants you to go to him with your sadness. All of those feelings that you have, God wants you to give them to him. So he wants you to love him with all of your heart. He wants you also, he said, to love him with all of your soul. And your soul is who makes you, you. What makes Miss Pam, Miss Pam? I'm the only one of me that there ever has been or there ever will be because God made it that way. And he made that part of me that is going to live forever. When this life is over and I die, my soul is going to go to heaven to be with Jesus because I asked him to be my savior and to forgive me of my sins. But my soul is the part of me that lives forever 
then it's the part of me that makes me, me. I, there are certain things I like and don't, certain things I'm good at or I'm not good at, but they're all different. We all are different. We're the way God made us to be. And God wants us to take that part of us that's us and the part of us that is going to live forever and love him with that part and give that to him. So we love God with all of our heart, our emotions. We love God with all of our soul. That's what makes you, you. We're to love God with all of our mind. And this is an important one. So what do you do with your mind? If you think, that's where thoughts of doubt come. That's where thoughts of trust and faith come. They start in our mind. And sometimes we can let our mind wander and God says, no, 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 no. I want you to use your mind to love me. Don't let your mind wander into things where you start to question, wow, is God as strong as he says he is? Did God really mean that when he put it in the Bible? And our minds can be tricky. God wants us to love him with our minds in thoughts of, God, I believe that you meant what you said in your word. I believe that you are good. I'm going to think on good things. And when my mind starts wandering to things that disagree with the Bible, I'm going to bring them back because you are God and you are good. And I'm going to love you with my thoughts in my mind. So love God with all of your heart. Love God with all of your soul. Love God with all of your mind. And then finally, we have all of our strength. That's our energy. Your strength, that's your muscles. What are you going to do with your love for God? What are you going to do to obey him, to act out to all of the things that he's told us to do, the way we're supposed to treat the people around us, the way we're supposed to read and learn the Bible? How about memorizing your memory verse? Are you going to love God with all your strength and work hard at memorizing? It's not always easy, but God wants us to give all of that to him because he's worth it. And that's the first commandment. That's what Jesus told him. It's what he asks and it's what he deserves and it's what he expects. But he's going to bless you for it because God's good. And we learned that in our verse last week. So this week, Work on your memory verse out of Mark chapter 12, verse number 30. And practice loving God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength, because this is the first commandment. Now, next week, we will talk about the second commandment. Have a great week.